What's going on fellow dominators? Brad here with Slider Domination. And today we're going to expand, dominate, and embarrass. I'm gonna teach you how to widen the strike zone for your benefit. Now you always hear coaches screaming at umpires, you took the bat out of his hands. Large part because the coach and hitter didn't like the calls against him. However, there can be a reason for that which the hitters and coaches will never accept. And this comes from a pitcher being able to establish his command in the early innings. Now when a pitcher shows the umpire that he can consistently locate his pitches, he will get more and more and more. And when an effective battery picks up on this bounty, they get greedy, and for the better, of course. Now you want to get more called strikes? Who doesn't? Dot the outside corner 70% of the time and miss within the vicinity on the rest, and the umpire will give you more calls in your favor. Now needless to say, pitching is merit-based. As a result, umpires appreciate when you make their job easier. It's not favoritism. Just many people involved benefit more when the pitcher's on his game. Now, as a pitcher is consistent in hitting the glove, the umpire rewards it. Umpires will have some vision obstructions, most notably down and away. When you get a right-handed hitter, the umpire's head is behind your shoulder here. You may have to look through the catcher's helmet to try and make the call. So if the umpire sees that the catcher doesn't have to move the glove to stick the pitch, quite often, he's gonna call it a strike. Now, when you make a borderline pitch and the umpire has obstructed view, Part of his call will be based off of the catcher. Did he move to catch the ball? If not, then most likely the call will be in your favor. Now when you establish the outside corner early in the game and you're getting the calls, that's when you begin to expand the plate. Just come middle innings, your catcher sets up one ball width off the black and you hit that spot and you get a strike, keep doing it. Why not? Each inning after that, the catcher can inch out more and more and more to see how much you guys can get. Now when the call goes in your favor, stay out there and force the hitter to make the adjustment. When he adapts to having to chase pitches off the plate, that's when you run a fastball in and under his hands or move his feet, thus expanding the plate and aggravating his patience. Now when the appropriate situation arises, follow up the fastball inside with a slider away. Good luck trying to launch that. Now keep in mind, it doesn't have to be a strike because the hitter is now forced to swing at pitches several inches outside. Throw the slider correctly and he will chase as he thinks it's a fastball to his black hole area off the plate. Now you're tapping into his frustration. Enjoy it. Now therefore, when you and your catcher feel you can get even more off the plate for a called strike, keep going. Take every inch you can get in this game. Why throw a strike when you don't have to? Now the more pitches being called strikes which are off the plate, the more of a mental struggle it becomes for the hitter. As hitters are taught to keep good plate discipline and not chase the pitcher's pitch. The fragility of the hitter's ego advises him not to chase pitches out of the zone in order to avoid creating bad habits, which lead to slumps. Oh well. Now as the plate is expanded and you're forcing the hitter to swing, there comes a degree of hesitation. As the hitter says to himself, I'm only swinging because I know I have to. I know I can't hit this pitch out here. Now expanding to both sides of the plate makes the hitter extremely vulnerable because it's now more area which he has to protect, that which he cannot. Now because this is such a valuable commodity in pitching, it's included in part of the drill sequences of the slider domination product line. Now aside from just teaching you how to throw the slider, I'm teaching you how to effectively use this dominant weapon to make you a more complete and dynamic pitcher. Understand the strategic components of the slider along with the mechanics to throw it consistently where you want and you'll see your results skyrocket rapidly. Now mastering the slider can be all the difference that earns you a college scholarship, professional contract, or even impact a signing bonus. That's big money. Now having the tools is one thing, knowing how to use them to expand the plate, dominate the competition, and embarrass hitters, it's life-changing. Keep dominating, my friend. So, 
Ready to make that life-changing leap into pitching dominance? Then go to slider-domination.com right now to download the audiobook, Seven Reasons Why You Should Throw a Slider. And under 30 minutes, you will be exposed to what a slider can do for your career. It can be very special. I'm going to let you know a little secret. You probably already have the tools to dominate with this pitch. The audiobook's just there to verify it for you. 